Hello everyone, welcome to Surya Creative Network. Today we are going to learn about modifications of leaf. Isn't that exciting? So without wasting us, without wasting any time, let's get creative. Okay. Okay, modifications of leaf. In some plants, leaves are modified to perform functions other than photosynthesis like protection, storage and support. Modifications of leaf are support. Tendrils in pea plants are better, bitter good. Uh, the leaflets are modified into thin, wiry, coiled structures called the tendrils. They provide support for the plant for climbing. Now let us look at this video to learn better. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, modifications of leaf for protection. Spines. In few, in few desert plants, leaves get modified and re get reduced in size. The pricky puppy and the cactus the, uh, become leaves become spiny to protect the plant from gazing animals. The spines also help in loss of water in these plants. Modifications of leaf for storage. The fleshy leaves of onion and garlic store food and water. Modify now this part is the most exciting part and it is too funny. Modification of leaf for trapping insects. Okay, other like another uh, other than other another plants, there are few animals which are known as few few plants which, uh, which uh, are carnivore or they eat insects. Some of them are pitcher plant and Venus flytrap. The leaves of the pitcher plant are modified in the form of jug-like shape with a lid which remains open. As soon as the insect sits on the lid, it slips inside the pitcher plant lid gets closed and later the insect gets digested with the secreted by the wall of pitcher. So when when the pitcher plant uh, pitcher plant has uh, the 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 insects get attracted to the pitcher plant and as soon as the uh, insect sit, sits here it gets fall it falls under uh, it falls under and then closing the pitcher plant closes its lid that is scary totally scary now this one is too scary than that okay modifications of leaf for trapping insect the leaf blade of the venus fly trap and as have has two halves, the midrib acting as a hinge. The edges of the leaf has spines with fine hair on it. So these are the spine. These are the spines. As soon as the insect sits on the leaf, thereby touching these hairs, so the two parts of the leaf shut down, thus tapping the insect inside. This is totally scary you can see this image first the venus fly traps open its mouth like this and as soon as the insect sits on it it touches the hair and then it gets closed warning don't put your fingers in that and the pitcher plant too because it can get your finger seriously injured that is all for today guys please read these books i am showing you That is all for today guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have not subscribed to us, subscribe it now. And if you have already subscribed, don't forget to don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notifications whenever I post a new video. Till then, meet you in the next video. Bye.